Welcome back, Guardians. It is your boy Odin here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys episode 5 of the Destiny Weekly Nightfall Challenge. Today we're going to be featuring my brother, aka the exotic Wolf Fenrir, as well as the ever so cold Iceman, one of my other buddies. Uh, he was actually in my last episode in the uh, number 4, which was the return of Omnigol uh, with the solar burn i believe it was that week now as you guys can see we're going to be taking on the ever so powerful valis turok however there is no burn whatsoever on the modifier so therefore that just means one thing you can guarantee it is going to be extremely hard to beat this nightfall challenge now as you guys can tell i am running my ass away but it's not going so well. Uh, I end up getting smacked. That's okay, guys. If you're new to the Nightfall here on Valus Turok, you can die here. It doesn't matter. So you can run and run and run and try to get there as fast as you can. It's a little bit easier for the hunters because you can easily just go invisible and then just run past. Where Titan, you you, you have to run. And then um, I, I would recommend the Striker class right here. So this way you get your shoulder charged. This way, it, it helps you get away really fast. But you can hide behind that block right there, right in the very beginning, and wait for the door to open up uh, right there by that door. So, And then they won't shoot you usually if you're behind that block. So as you can see, we've got the exotic wolf Fenrir right in front of me with the, the hunter. Now, if you guys do not know, there is a new kind of... A new kind of cheese spot on Valus. Um, I actually didn't know about it until recently, so that won't I won't be showing you guys in this video that cheese spot. But I do, I don't at a, at the same time support cheesing. But sometimes you just can't beat it without cheesing because it's ridiculously hard. For instance, um, as you can tell uh, with the Valus Tur, I, I, I'm telling you right now. Spoiler alert. If you don't want to hear the spoiler alert, um, then leave now. But otherwise, I'm warning you, there are there is a lot of cheesing in this video because a lot of big time YouTubers themselves could not solo this without cheesing. So, you know what? I decided, you know, cheesing just gets the job done. It's gonna be fixed. So a lot of people, you know, they love their cheddar right now. And it eventually things are going to get changed just like with the Crota N right now. A lot of stuff is going to be changed with Crota's N uh, on Tuesdays. So they are already looking to stop in cheesing. Um, thank God they haven't done it with everything because there are just some nightfalls that are ridiculously hard. But that being said, I'd really like to be able to actually beat these nightfalls without having to cheese them. And I feel like you know uh, with a nightfall you shouldn't be able to solo it on top of that just like a raid you definitely shouldn't be able to solo a raid but you shouldn't be able to solo a nightfall unless you're extremely a top tier player and even then it shouldn't be really something that you should be able to do because I feel like the nightfall and the raid are meant for teamwork you're supposed to build uh, you're supposed to work as a team you know build that chemistry as a team and that's that's another reason why I think it should uh, be harder because uh, Destiny is trying to build a community where we are all together you know and we uh, trust each other and help each other and I believe that in order to do that we have to stop the cheesing but like I said you know I'm not a, I'm not a supporter of cheesing but I'm not a hypocrite either because I don't agree that uh, that you should be able to do it but at the same time, right now, you should do it because you need to be able to, you know, get your drops. And it's a guaranteed way of getting your drops for the week. That being said, like I said, I don't 100% support it, but I do use it sometimes too, only when I need to. So, for instance, Valus Turok, you know, he's just going to spam you with his Gatling gun and he's going to spam you with uh his rockets and thank god there's no like solar burn because if there was solar burn right now we would absolutely get demolished in Valus Turok. probably it doesn't even matter if you're cheesing them you more than likely would get destroyed because as you guys like i've been smacked before underneath the stairs uh when light switch was on one of the phalanxes like just straight smacked me 
and I instantly died through the wall. And it was pretty crap, but yeah. The new cheese spot, guys, actually for Valus Turok is above the center of the room of Valus Turok. It's kind of like up on top where the rafters are. And you have to jump up on top of like uh, a pole up on the platform, the ramps. You get on top of the pole and then you just float up there. It's pretty easy. Um, some people are trying to say that you can't do it with a hunter, but I'm calling crap because my brother actually is able to do it with a hunter. <clears throat> I've seen him do it, aka. I've seen other people do it with hunters too, so that's kind of how I learned how to get up there to begin with. That being said, I'm not the founder of that cheese spot. Go ahead and take a look. I'm sure you can find it it's all over YouTube right now. Is the new cheese spot for Valus Turok. It's basically 100% a guaranteed win. If you want to win 100% and you're a Titan, run Defender Titan up there with weapons of light. Use the glass house for your um for your exotic helmet. This way you get the the uh, blessings of light and uh, weapons of light last longer. Definitely, definitely use that. I'm telling you. And with uh, make sure you use either a 331 or just use patience and time because uh, preferably use the 331 patience and time, and you won't have to worry about him seeing you. And you can just rain down on his dome with uh, critical damage every time. Or if you want. Like how I just did the Crota's Raid the other day and I beat it first try. I was laughing because I'm not laughing at people's pain, but I was laughing at uh, Enraged Cinema because I've watched his videos and his streams. And he's an awesome guy. Prodigy is awesome. And I absolutely love watching his videos. And uh, when I get the chance here, I will be subscribing to his channel on his Twitch. I'm already subscribed to his YouTube. But uh, he makes great content, guys. You should definitely go check him out. He's at X Enrage Cinema or Enrage Cinema. Uh, it just depends on where you go. <clears throat> it's X Enrage Cinema, I believe, on YouTube and Enrage Cinema without YouTube on Twitch. So definitely check him out. He is an awesome, awesome guy. He produces great content, just like Dado and my name is Bife. Dado does Destiny. I watch him too. You know, I, there's a lot of disputing going on with him. Uh, but he's like he said himself he uses cheesing as well uh, but he doesn't actually support it sometimes you don't have a choice uh, but that being said guys um, definitely go check them out they're, they're awesome guys and they're what basically made me want to do this um, and I, I just have a lot more fun playing Destiny than I do playing Call of Duty uh, that being said you know, I'm still looking to get the AW uh, which not AW root beer but Advanced Warfare but I just haven't had time, and, you know, bills are stacking up, and, you know, I'm getting ready to go buy uh, some new, um, uh, I got to replace my license and tags and stuff, so <clears throat> I don't have time to be able to go buy a new game. So Destiny is what I got, and I'm absolutely loving it, enjoying it. Like I said, if you ever need help, let me know. But uh, the Black Hammer, I got it first try, guys. Crota's in. <laughs> like I said, it took Prodigy with three characters a month to get it and I played it first try and got black hammer so I got extremely lucky but for some reason I have that kind of luck like when I played the vault of glass I got Praetis revenge right away uh, first try uh, I got fate bringer when I played the hard mode first try the only gun I do not have is the vex method class and uh, I heard it's not even as good as it normally is except for the crota's end raid I um another thing about that guys with the patch notes uh you with the patch notes now like I said they're gonna be changing all of uh, the raid basically uh, you're no longer with the first chest gonna be able to get exotic drops out of that you're gonna end up actually getting only material so it'll be radiant energy or radiant shards that is all out of the first one in the pit and then um that actually the exotic and the class armor or the the raid armor and the class uh, items stuff like that is actually going to be uh, transferred over to beating ear Yuk, the death singer and um, because a lot of people I think Bungie did that because a lot of people were just trying to beat ear Yuk, the death singer really fast skip it go to Crota and then get the checkpoint and then you know uh, have everybody come in at that part now that being said they're doing that because um, they're doing that because, like I said, there was no drops. So now it's going to force you to want to play ear yet. In other words, Bungie's trying to make sure that you, you actually play the raid how you're supposed to. 
the exploding lanterns to explode yourself in the pit in the very beginning up to the top and be able to go to the bridge is that is all supposed to be stopped because they're getting rid of the impulse explosions and you're not going to be launched across the map or launched anywhere anymore. Uh, the part with the ogres, guys, the bridge itself, you're going to have to wait for it to form and you're going to have to cross it in order to be able to get the people on the other side to spawn. So this is going to be no more cheesing getting on top uh, or jumping up on the box and stopping thralls. And the big one that you guys should be worried about um, and happy about it at the same time to be able to try to, you know, get what you got to get and get the biggest challenge of, you know, the Destiny, uh, the Destiny universe is Crota himself. When you are not going to be able to lag him when you leave, you make the host leave and he's continuously kneeling and doesn't stop kneeling. Therefore, from now on, when the host leaves, he will get back up. It does not matter. Destiny themselves, Bungie themselves had said that he will get back up. So if you leave, you're just leaving and basically, you know, one of your fire teams is leaving. One of your fire team members is leaving, making a big disadvantage for your team because he will get back up. So that is going to be put to a stop. As you guys can tell, we are here at Valus Turok at the very end. Now, I heard if you don't kill the people that you see me shooting right now to my left, uh, Valus Turok won't spawn, but I did kill him, so therefore Valus Turok should be getting ready to spawn. Those signs, yep, as you can see, I look to the right real fast, and you can see. These guys right here, on the other hand, I highly encourage you either to use the truth because of the tracking. It will absolutely destroy these scions and the operants when they're yellow bar, the majors. Um, it will absolutely manhandle them. However, or you know, you could say la lady handle or manhandle, whatever, because I don't know if you're a female character, but anyways, another good one for you to use is the corrective measure. But the only way for you to get the corrective measure, like I've said before in some of my past videos, is to beat the Vault of Glass. You can get the corrective measure in the Vault of Glass on drops. Um, and that's an absolutely destructive heavy weapon. It's an LMG and uh, it does void damage. It only goes to 300. Um, like I said, Bungie hasn't said anything. They have not confirmed that they're going to make your legendary weapons from the Vault of Glass become 331s now. I hope they do because that would be absolutely awesome. That would also give people a reason, like older players, to actually jump back into the Vault of Glass raid. Because as of right now, really, if you have everything that you need, you don't really need to go back to the Vault of Glass except for Ascendant Shards and Ascendant Materials. And when it comes down to it, simply us top tier players and um, players that are, you know, actually um, past, you know, with the DLC, we don't need Ascendant Materials or Ascendant Shards because... That is for the pre, like the pre-expansion. Uh, so that's for like your Christmas noobs or your uh, newer players in general. Um, we are already past that. We don't have a need for that. We need radiant shards and radiant energy, which you can only get, you know, in uh, the. I believe you can only get it with uh, beating the Crota's in raid or getting them out of the the actual raid in general but that being said um i don't i don't know 100 percent if you can get them from a nightfall or anything like that i think you can only get them from the raid of Crota's in from the expansion pack one the dark below and um i i don't know about you guys but i kind of get a little upset with the whole like them giving me shards and giving me energies like i don't need any of that in the nightfall i think that nightfall uh, if you're gonna do that i think that it should be like kind of more like a you need to like make it either like eight through ten or or something like that sometimes i get five sometimes i get seven it's, it's not consistent and it drives me crazy um but that being said i think you guys should just like just you know tighten that gap a little bit or you know make it more consistent what you're gonna get when it comes to the materials because I could easily go get you know eight or ten materials uh, sorry about that my phone's going off but I could easily get those just by going to the vaults of glass so I mean it's not that hard at all to get that 
That being said, I don't want to nag. I know it's RNG, but still, I think Bungie has the capabilities to be able to actually like tighten that gap up a little bit. Now that being said, guys, as you guys can tell, like I said, there's a lot of cheesing. This is a like basically my point of view. Uh, obviously, it's me playing the game, but you guys can see this is me underneath that the stairs, that gap. That's the cheese spot. The new cheese spot is this ramp that I'm actually on. And uh, you can actually jump up, like I said, on the top of the pillar right there to my left and then jump up on top of the platform above. So that's absolutely, you know, a really, really good cheese spot. I've, I've never died up there. I can, I can admit I've never lost up there. You can also get up on top of the rafters after you get up on top of that light cylinder light up above us. But uh, yeah, I've never actually died here. I'm just kind of like taking my time, just slowly picking people off. Like I said, there's no burn modifier this week, so I'm just slowly taking my time. I don't want to die. I don't want my friends to die. Um, another thing I don't really advise you guys to do, but people do do it, is when somebody dies, if it's not the party leader, they leave and then they join back session. And then that just makes it so that somebody can actually come back and help out again. And uh, it takes the, the fun out of the game. I don't think you should be able to do it. I think Bungie needs to do something with that. Because I feel like the Nightfall is, like I said, the ultimate test besides the raid. So if you're going to die, you should be dead in general. Like, you should not be able to leave and come back. Uh, I think, like, if you leave then you have to wait until like somebody leaves or comes back you have to wait till like the session is over before you can join back because um i don't think you should be able to you know be able to come back and revive your teammates uh that just defeats the whole purpose of the challenge of the nightfall in general or the raid for that matter now, as you guys can tell uh we're just using the weapons of light like i said weapons of light with the glass house is an absolutely amazing amazing combination and if you're a titan like i said definitely run the defender um or you can run the striker it doesn't matter but flashbangs are an absolute must you must use your flashbangs if you do i swear to you guys it'll be so much easier it makes everything easier if you're in an oh shit moment and you need to get out throw a flashbang and you're straight you can get right out um, if you're gonna use the helm 14 uh i think it's called helm 14 but it's the saint helmet for the Titan, <laughs> Sadie's meowing. So uh, this video might be featuring my brother's cat too. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Maybe if I pet you, you'll leave me alone. Um, but anyways, guys, yeah, these uh, definitely use the flashbangs. It's an absolute must. And the Saint helmet actually blinds people with the uh, Ward of Dawn. So I'm wondering, maybe technically, you could do the whole like weapons of light as you guys see here right now Valistark is actually making his way towards us and where you see me right now where my brother was just at the exotic wolf Finner, where he was at looking through those little boxes over there uh right where he's at right now you need to be careful because the phalanxes can smack you with a shield through there and as you see right now i'm actually looking you know at Valistrak. he can't do anything and uh, i'm just like smacking him now he can't do anything except his his uh, his quake, his aka his rockets can absolutely destroy you. So you got to be careful when you're down there, um, because the the rockets will actually go through and still kill you. So here we're just taking our time. The vision of confluence works really good. Any kind of scout rifle works absolutely amazing. As you see, I'm still using the Ephrodite spear because at this time um, I did not have uh, the black hammer. So I was using this, but the Black Hammer, oh my god, you guys, I'll probably end up like putting out a review, it'll be like my first weapon review, and I'll show you some gameplay of me absolutely annihilating everything. If you are a sniper, then I highly suggest you get either the Icebreaker or the Black Hammer, and in general, I would say myself that the Icebreaker is really good, I don't have it yet, I'm still looking for it, and like I said, it's really good, guys. Because it regenerates your ammunition however the black hammer with the white nail proc it is absolutely amazing if you can easily hit precision shots if you're really good at hitting headshots or precision shots in general because sometimes it's not the head but it is absolutely amazing because you don't have to worry about 
reloading your weapon. You shoot three shots and it just reloads it instantly. But that you got to hit three in a row. But that is it, guys. Definitely, I will bring that to you guys so you can see. We just demolished Valus Turok. Um, this, like I said, I tried to do it solo and I could not do it except without cheesing. It was insanely hard. So I didn't do it. And as you guys can see right there on the left, uh, you could see the drops if you wanted to go back but i'm doing a little spin you know just doing a little spin having a good time uh, my brother has not gotten anything good out of the nightfall in the last couple weeks and he's it's absolutely driving him nuts and uh, he doesn't get anything good here uh at all he calls me garbage um their voices might not be too loud so you might not be able to hear him but uh right here guys let's see what we get what did we get what did we get Oh, baby. Yes, that's what I'm talking about, too. Yep, see right there. He called me. He goes, you guys are garbage. Because he got the prestige uh, with Ark, and I got the No Land Beyond. But that's going to be it, guys. And This is an atrocious sniper rifle. I'm going to probably dismount for an exact shard. Make sure to leave a like. It helps the video. And if you are new, always subscribe if you're new, guys, for new daily Destiny videos. This is your boy, Odin. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Leave some feedback. I'm out. See you next video.